Texting is one of the most popular forms of communication, mostly due to allowing people to express themselves and truly connect without any of that uncomfortable eye contact. Hey folks, welcome to the new show. I'm Ross Everett, and if you could just give me a second. Texting is my preferred method of communication. I can do it anywhere, anytime, and with a bunch of people at once, but it's also the absolute worst. Here are the top five reasons why. Number one, and everyone's go-to answer, autocorrect. First of all, it's never duck, ever. Even if I'm saying there's a ball flying at your head, I'm almost always not saying duck, and certainly never saying duck you or go duck yourself. And among changing yo to two, it seems like the only time autocorrect learns your language is when you make a spelling mistake. So now when I'm confirming plans with someone, I'm always saying perfects. It's the damn worst. Side note, here's a little trick for iOS users. Please hold your boos and hisses. But if you go into your keyboard menu under general settings, you can actually cheat the system and create words that you actually use often by creating them as shortcuts. Number two, the respond bubble of anxiety. Someone is typing something, but what? Is it good? Is it bad? I need to know now! There's a thought experiment called Schrodinger's Cat where he explains that when you put a cat in a box, it creates two different realities. One where the cat is dead and the other where the cat is alive. And you don't know which reality you're in until you open the box and see the cat. The anxiety bubble is the Schrodinger's Cat of the texting world. It is simultaneously the best and worst thing that I could hear all until that message pops pops up on my screen, but until then, I'm stuck in between. Basically what I'm saying is that I'd rather kill a cat in a box than have to wait another second wondering what you're about to text me. Number three, sarcasm. It's so easy to tell when someone's being sarcastic over text, but if I texted that to you, you'd be like, Ross, you're an idiot. It's not easy at all. Thus, illustrating my point. It's not like sarcasm is a new thing. It's been a part of mainstream communication since before the movie Clueless, when someone was like, yeah, let's make a movie about a spoiled rich girl and her friends, and then they did. So why isn't there a way to text sarcasm yet? Some people use a forward slash on either end of the word, but honestly, communication should be fast paced and who has time for formatting? Number four, dictation. If you're gonna dictate a text to someone and you're not driving, you're not doing it right. I know we haven't invented a way to communicate over phones yet where we can speak words and they'll somehow get the message. So it's the only way to do this, but I hear this dude Alexander Graham Bell is working on it. People who dictate their texts are not only removing the privacy from their conversation, but they're also forcing it on me. It's like pollution or secondhand cigarette smoke, but no one is doing anything about it. Number five, the clicks. This one's correctable, but it's still the worst, so it made the list. They're not real buttons. Stop trying to trick yourself into thinking that they are. Wait, am I typing? I can't hear it. I must not be typing. Click, 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 click. Oh, thank God. I thought my phone was broken. I was seeing the letters appear on the screen, but I couldn't hear the clicking, so I didn't know I was doing it. It's almost Pavlovian, but instead of a dog salivating when he hears a bell, when people hear clicks, their mouth fills with resentment. So what's the worst texting miscommunication you've heard of. Let me know in the comments down below. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see Alex Farnham and I do some celebrity impressions, you can click this video annotation or the link in the description down below. And for those of you who already watched that video, I said if it got over a thousand likes, we would eat a sriracha filled donut. And it did. So thanks for that. There's going to be a link to that video in the description down below. And I hate you guys. Thank you for liking the video though. Uh, but here's a preview of that. Ready? All right. All right. We are. <laughs> okay, no, go ahead. Don't wait. Oh, my goodness.